Adventure. In tonight's story, we present the snakes. Here. Okay. Good night, Grace. Here tomorrow. Oh, my watch has stopped. What's the time? Oh, uh, let's see. It's, I make it about a minute to eleven. Thanks. Will you be much longer? No, oh, just a few more minutes. <laughs> you know, I'm glad this is the last night we'll have to work overtime, at least for a while. Oh, anyway. you're telling me. <laughs> we'll be turning into bats at this rate. <laughs> Good night. Cheerio. <laughs> well, now, let's get these fires put away and I can start winding my own way home. Yeah. Ah, I'm glad to see the last of you lot. <laughs> ah. Oh well, the overtime pay will come in useful. Grief, what was that? The place is going on. It sounded like Grace. Grace, is that you? Oh, get back inside and shut the door quickly. Hey, what's going on? I don't know how you get back in the room. All right, all right. Oh. What's the oh. matter? What did you scream for? There's, there's a snake out there. What? A snake. A huge thing. It's at the top of the stairs. There's a snake at the top of the stairs? But don't look at me like that. I saw it with my own eyes. It's a huge thing. It's coming down the corridor. There aren't any snakes in here. We're in the middle of town. I'm telling you, there's a huge snake out there. Do I look like I'm playing the fool? Oh. Well, don't open the door. I want to see this for myself. Oh. Well? There's just a snake out there. There's two of them. Oh. I think there's a third at the end of the corridor. Well, where did they come from? I'm not sure. The question is, are they dangerous? Tiptonic tuning from Germany Gives the best power reception you'll ever see There's a tint control and blah punkt has got More than 400,000 extra color dots That's high, 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 high fidelity You get perfect color and clarity Blah punkt TV pictures high fidelity High, high Peugeot 404 Automatique relieves traffic headaches. They're real value for money, incredibly reliable, have minimum maintenance requirements, low running costs. Whatever your motoring problem, the 404 can cure it. Peugeot 404, more than a sugar-coated pill. We can't just sit in here like this. Call somebody on the phone. The phone's connected to the switchboard in an office on the other side of the warehouse. At this time of the night, the board's closed. Do you know that? You mean we can't get an outside line? That's precisely what I mean. Well, what are we going to do? Well, for a start, let's not lose our heads. Well, you saw the size of the snake out there. I'm not going to try and get down the corridor. Two of the snakes are pretty big. But the one at the far end of the corridor looked much smaller and of different colour. Well, don't you know anything about snakes? What sort of poisonous and so on? All I know about snakes is that they haven't got legs. Oh, for heaven's sake! But, but what are the creatures doing here? Ah, I think I know the answer to that. Well? Look, Dave was down at the harbour this afternoon. He was collecting something for the zoological gardens in Marydale. Something that was going to be kept here at the warehouse overnight and transported tomorrow morning. A consignment of snakes? Well, I didn't see the documentation. It could have been snakes. They keep them at Marydale, don't they? Well, I've no idea. Look, maybe the snakes were in a container that got damaged and Dave didn't notice it. Now the slithering chums have got free. You mean the whole warehouse may be full of them? Well, let's not exaggerate. 
Those three out in the corridor may be the only ones there were. And on the other hand, maybe there's dozens of them. <sighs> We've got to get out of here. Well, wouldn't it be safer to stay where we are? Look, this room's got an open ceiling. A snake may think the rafters are a good tree substitute. Oh, I don't think I could stand it if a snake appeared in the rafters over my head. I'll try to keep calm. Oh, Norman, the door. Well, what about it? Well, there's a gap between the bottom of the door and the floor. Yes. Oh, it's not more than an inch wide. But snakes though. can get through small openings, can't they? They make themselves flat or something. Well, don't they? <laughs> I told you, I don't know anything about snakes. Well, we'd better stuff paper under the door. Oh, come on. All right, we could use some of the stuff in the bottom of the filing cabinet. Oh, give me a hand. Uh, Here, take these. Right. Uh, fold the pages. There's something on the other side of the huh? door. I can hear it. Look, I'll put the paper. Oh, be careful. Oh, I will be. I think one of the snakes is thinking about trying to come under the door. Yeah, well, let's see if we can discourage him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. If I fold a few sheets of paper in half, they make a nice wedge. Well, mind your fingers. Yeah. Oh. Sounds like a storm's brewing outside. Well, only this room had a window. Yeah, that wouldn't help. We're on the second floor. Oh, I think I'd risk jumping. Yes, and you'd probably break your neck. Anyway, there isn't a window, so the question doesn't arise. That's got the paper wedged under the door. We can't sit in here all night. We've got to attract someone's attention. Well, what about the night watchman? Yes. It's a bit after 11 now. He won't be making his rounds of this part of the warehouse until about 12. Well, maybe he'll see the snake somewhere else in the building and, and raise the alarm before 12. Maybe. Well, if he sees the lights burning here, he may come and investigate. He knows we've been working overtime all week. He won't think it's suspicious that the lights are on, though. But the later it gets, the more unlikely it is that anyone's working here. Yeah, true. He knows we always let ourselves out about eleven. I reckon we'll get help in about an hour. Oh, that thunder wasn't very far away. The storm's going to break before long. I'll try to relax. You want a cigarette? Oh, yes, thanks. Hang on. Here we are. Uh... You know... We could probably go down the corridor without being attacked. I mean, if we move quietly and slowly, why should the snakes bother us? Oh, they give me the creeps. I feel weak at the knees just thinking about them. Yeah, to tell you the truth, they scare the daylights out of me as well. If only we knew something about them. That's what bothers me, you know, my ignorance about them. The little blighter I noticed at the far end of the corridor looks like the strike now ask questions afterwards type. Oh, that's the trouble. We don't know a thing about snakes. We could be sitting here making fools of ourselves. And on the other hand, going out into the corridor may be the stupidest thing to do. Look, I'm going to get a look over the partition into the corridor. Maybe our chums have gone. Well, stand on this chair. Oh, thanks. I'll just put it against the partition. And then, up we go. Uh, let's see. Well, are they still there? Yes. One, two, three, five, seven. There's seven of them. What? There's two really big ones and the rest are... Medium-sized, if that's the right expression. Oh, what are they doing? Two of them are slithering. The others aren't moving. Oh! What's that for? Well, look up there. In the rafters. Where? Well, to the right over there. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. One of them is going along the rafters. He's going to pass right overhead. Uh, yeah. As long as he keeps going, that's fine. I've never been so scared in my life. I can't say I'm overjoyed myself. Oh, I wish that night watchman would get here. I wish we could phone out. Perhaps the switchboard left a, a direct line through here. Maybe. She knows we've been working overtime. She may have left us on an outside line. Yeah, I've not much hope of that, really. She's a creature of habit. And every night before she knocks oh, off... Oh, try she... the phone anyway. All right, all right. Well... Uh... The mine's stone dead. The snake in the rafters has stopped moving. So I see. It's on a beam right over this room. <laughs> now stop worrying, will you? It's up there, not down here. Oh, I can't stand to have a big snake a few feet above my head. There's nothing we can do about it. Suppose it decides to try and come down here. Now why should it want to do that? Well, how should I know? I don't know how snakes think. Oh, look, it can't get down here. There's nothing for it to climb on. I've seen pictures of snakes stretching down from a branch to the ground. And that one up there is long enough to reach the floor. Well, it isn't trying to do anything of the sort. It's just sitting there, lying there, whatever you call it. It's watching us. Well, stop waving your arms around. I don't think snakes like sudden movements. Where are my glasses? What do you want your glasses for? I read somewhere that snakes spit in your eyes. Haven't you heard of that before? Yes, I think I have. 
Well, maybe the snake up there isn't that sort. They're all that sort, aren't they? He may not even be poisonous. For all we know, he's more frightened of us than we are of him. Oh, don't talk rubbish. He doesn't look frightened. How do you know what a frightened snake looks like, anyway? I don't think snakes get frightened. I don't think they've got those sort of feelings. <sighs> I'm sure if we just ignore him, he won't do us any harm. And for heaven's sake, keep still. Oh! Oh, oh that nearly made me jump out of my skin. Oh, dear me. The rain's starting, listen. Why doesn't that infernal night watchman come here? It's another 30 or 40 minutes at least before he starts heading this way. Something's pushing on the papers you jammed under the door. I wedged them in tight. It's all right. The big snakes I saw in the corridor looked like... What are they called? Pythons. Was it a python? I told you, I don't know anything about snakes. Maybe it was a boa constrictor. They crush you to death, don't they? Yeah, something like that. But he can't get in here. I don't think they go around looking for people to crush oh. anyway. At least I don't think so. Oh, I can't handle this. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, no, you aren't. Now, oh, come on, sit down in this chair. Come on, sit down. That's right. Fire! That's it! Fire! What? Snakes don't like fire. I read that somewhere. Snakes and all wild creatures, they're frightened of fire. Well, that's true. But we can't start a fire in here. But can't you throw some burning papers over the top of the petition into the corridor? Uh, it's a wooden floor. We could set the warehouse alight. We can't just sit here. Look, so far we're perfectly safe. We've just got to be patient. I told you I can't take this. I'm terrified of snakes. And I admitted that they scare me as well, but we aren't going to start making fires in here. Well, think of something else then. We've just got to be patient, Grace, until the night watchman shows up. When he does the rounds in this part of the building, we'll... Call out to him. It's moving. What? Up there. The snake, it's moving. You're right. It's coming down. Look at it, it's starting to come down. Oh, Oh, that was close. The lights are dimming. They're going out. The lights are going out. Grace, steady on with you. Steady. Oh, it's pitch black now. We're in the dark and that snake is going down. All right, Grace, I'm with you. I'm right here. We're in the pitch black, surrounded by snakes. Pour out the instant coffee haze. Instant coffee haze's unique process actually traps that delicious taste and aroma of percolating coffee. So you get that coffee pot taste in every can of instant coffee haze. Coffee haze traps the taste that's too good to waste. Pour out the coffee pot taste. Pour out the instant coffee haze. Choose from instant coffee haze medium roast powder and instant coffee haze full roast granules. Peugeot 404 Automatique relieves traffic headaches. They're real value for money, incredibly reliable, have minimum maintenance requirements, low running costs. Whatever your motoring problem, the 404 can cure it. Peugeot 404, more than a sugar-coated pill. Tiptonic tuning from Germany gives the best power reception you'll ever see. There's a tint control and Blaupunkt has got more than 400,000 extra color dots. That's high, 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 high fidelity. You get perfect color and clarity. Blaupunkt TV pictures high fidelity. High, 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 high fidelity. Get some light from my cigarette lighter. Just a second. Oh, hurry up. Yeah, that's better. Where's the snake? It's it's just hanging there. It isn't moving. What's the matter with it? I don't think there's anything the matter with it. It's just decided to stop moving. But it's hanging halfway down from the rafter. I think that's how some snakes behave. Oh. This lighter won't last long. We need something else for light. Well, if we make a small fire in the waste paper bin, there shouldn't be any danger of it spreading. Not if we're very careful. 
Get some more paper out of that cabinet. Right. Take the stuff from the bottom drawer. It isn't important. I'll get the metal bin. I don't like this idea at all. If we set the building on fire, we'll be in even worse trouble. Oh, look what I found. What is it? Well, you remember Mrs. Castle's birthday last week? She bought a cake. Do you remember? Oh, what's that got to do? Well, there are a few little candles on it, and afterwards somebody must have put them in here on top of this cabinet, see? And they aren't very big, are they? Well, it's better than nothing. If we use them one at a time, they should last until the watchman gets around here. Mm. We can use this ashtray as a holder. Give me one of the candles. Here you are. Right. Let's light it. And just run a little wax into the ashtray. Then stick the base of the candle in it before it's hardened. And hey, presto. The snake hasn't moved again. It... It's still just hanging there. Listen, do you hear oh, that? It's somebody whistling. Ah, the night watchman. Oh. I'll give him a shout. Hello there. Oh, the thunder was too loud. He didn't hear you. But call again. Oh, confound this infernal weather. Hello there. Do you hear me? Oh, the rain's making a terrible racket on the roof. No, I heard the corridor exit door open and close. He's gone. But call again. Hello there. Hello! You're right. He's gone. <sighs> he must have just passed through the corridor without checking this far. Oh, the lazy fool. He won't come back for another hour at least. I can't stay here another hour. Not with that thing dangling like that. I won't be able to stand it. <sighs> Maybe we should just try to get to the end of the corridor. The watchman didn't seem to see anything out there. He must have swept his torch around, surely. It doesn't seem as though he was being very methodical. He was apparently just crossing at the end of the corridor without paying any attention to this direction. With the electricity off, he probably thinks we've gone home. I'm not going out into the corridor in the dark. There's boxes and things stacked out there. The stakes could be behind them or on top of them anywhere. I'll tell you what, I'll chance it. I'll bolt down the corridor and get her. I'm not staying here by myself. All right, well, then come with me. We'd probably get out perfectly safely. I'm not going out there. Listen, you can't be any more frightened of snakes than I am. Believe me, they, they really scare me. If I wasn't so blessed scared of them, I'd have gone out long ago. But we can't hang around in this room all night. I'll faint before I get two steps away. Well, I, I can't stay here with that snake dangling from the rafter. What well, do you think? I like it. But at least we can see it. Going out through the warehouse in the dark is something else. We're acting like a couple of silly children. Look, if, if we go out slowly and carefully... No! Think of something else. Now, wait a minute. I've just thought of something. Well, what? Mr. Rowland goes to the bank tomorrow, right? It is Friday tomorrow, isn't it? Yes, it, it's Friday tomorrow, but so what? What are you talking about? Well, he collects wages for the temporary staff. Oh, yes? And he takes a gun with him, a revolver. Oh, Yes. Oh, but he keeps the gun in his office, and that's on the other side of the building. Uh -uh, no. On Thursday afternoons, he puts the gun in the safe in here, because he stops in here first thing on Fridays and then goes directly to the bank. You mean there's a gun in the safe? In here? Oh, there should be. Well, do you know the combination? Yes. Well, don't just stand there. Get it open. All right. Well, why didn't you think of this before? I don't claim to be perfect. Oh, it'll be our luck that the gun isn't in the safe. Well, it should be there. What's the snake on the rafter doing? Nothing. It's still just hanging down like a piece of cable. Oh, hurry up with the lock. I'm going as fast as I can. Uh, uh, uh. Is the gun in there? It should be in this drawer. Well? Uh. Well, isn't it there? Uh, yes, here it is. Ah, oh. <laughs> see. Oh, oh, there's a problem. What problem? It isn't loaded. But it must be loaded. What use is an empty gun? Oh, you know what a fastidious character Mr. Rowland is. He probably thinks it's dangerous to leave a gun around loaded. Well, it isn't lying around. It was locked in the safe. Well, either he keeps the ammunition somewhere else and brings it with him to load the gun on Friday mornings before he goes to the bank, or the bullets are somewhere separately in the safe. Well, look for them. I am looking for them. <gasps> the snake's moving. What? Look, it, it's moving. It's making for the top of the petition. So I see. It's going to come down in here with us. Oh, for heaven's sake, find the ammunition. All right, all right. I'll keep your eye on the snake. Maybe the bullets are in one of these other drawers. Oh, the candle's gone out. Oh, it was just a little oh. birthday candle. Light another one. Well, you've got the lighter. Oh, just a second. Oh, hurry up. Oh, I left the lighter on the desk. Oh, you idiot. Well, take it easy. I'll fetch it. You can't see a thing in this darkness. And the snake's coming down. 
the, the light on the edge of the desk. I'll, I'll, I'll just feel around. But well, can't you find it? Oh, yes, here it is. Oh! Oh, now what? I knocked it on the floor. Oh, are you crazy or something? Relax, I'll find it. It's here oh, somewhere. Oh, please find it. Oh, I've got it. Ah, ah there. Ah, where are the other candles? Here. I've got them. Right, let's get another one burning. Thanks. Now, hold it steady. Right. Oh, hurry up. Oh, relax, will you? I'm just as scared as you are. There's no point in panicking. I can't keep my hand still. <laughs> ah, oh, there. The candle's burning. Look. The snake's gone. Oh, it came down in the dark. Oh, where's it gone? <laughs> maybe oh, it went down the other side of the partition. And maybe it came down on this side. Oh, find the ammunition for the revolver. All right, all right. Oh. If we're lucky it's in one of these drawers. Well, isn't it there? Apparently not. I wonder if he put it in this firebox at the back of the safe. Oh, I can see the snake. What? Where? In the corner. Over there. It's moving along the floor next to the petition. Yes, I see him. Norman... We're trapped. All right, all right. Oh, I found the bullets. Oh. They were in the firebox. Well, load the gun. Oh, gosh, it's funny. I, I can't get the cylinder open. Oh, there must be a trick to it. Oh, don't you know anything about guns? Oh, no, I don't. At least not this sort of revolver. Oh, you're marvellous. You know nothing about snakes and you know nothing about guns. Not how much use are you? Oh, this is no time to point out my weaknesses. Please oh. lay off. Where's the snake now? He's reached the corner. He's going to start coming this way. What are we going to do? Let's get on the desk. Come oh, on. right. Now be careful with the candles. Oh, blast, it's gone out. Oh, light it again, quickly. All right, all right. There. Now, climb on the desk. Don't wave the candle about or it'll go out again. For pity's sake, load the gun. I'm trying my best. Look, I can't help it if I don't know how the thing opens. Must be a blooming antique. Trust Roller to have a revolver that came out of the Ark. Well, it looks in good condition. You know what a fuss spot he is. Yes, I know. Where's the snake? Oh, it's going into the safe. What? How, well, we can shut him in there. Well, he isn't properly inside yet. He will be in a few minutes. There's still all the snakes out in the corridor. Are you sure you can't load that gun? I'm trying, I'm trying. Well, try harder. You're hardly a pillar of strength yourself. Oh, he's in the safe. Oh, shut the door. Go on. All right. Oh, hurry before it gets out. Oh, don't push me. Well, hurry up. Oh, that's taken care of him. Oh, help me down from the desk, please. Here, take my hand. Oh, thanks. Oh, blast, the candle's gone out again. Oh, the electricity is working. Oh, good. The lights have come on. Oh, that's a big help. Well, now maybe the watchman will see the lights and come here to find out what's going on. Ah, oh, I've got the gun open. Look. Well, load it. All right. I'll get on the chair and take another look in the corridor. Now then, take a look. Anything there? Corridors? All of them. And there's a giant right in front of the door. Oh, you'd need a machine gun to bite your way to the end of the corridor. You know, if you and I weren't a couple of bachelors, we could have expected our families to report us missing by now. Oh. But it looks as if we're going to have to wait for the watchman to come to our rescue. At least we haven't got any more of the snakes in here with us. Mind, I'm, I'm coming down. Uh. Now, if any do somehow get in here, at least we've got Roland's revolver now. Norman, I'm, I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier on. That's all right. I think we've both been a little rattled, to say the least. <laughs> To say the least. You know, Grace, when we get out of here, I'll buy you a present. Oh, what? Nice, nice snakeskin handbag, hmm? Oh, Norman. <laughs> I'm not sure I think that's funny. All right, all right, maybe not. Now, look, we, we'd better listen to the watchman. He didn't notice the snakes when he crossed at the end of the corridor last time, but now that the lights are on again, he's in for a nasty surprise. Was 
Mensch, was für ihr eine unique Wasdachformule. Die Enzymaktie wirkt die ärgste Feuille und Flecke aus und die Schoonmaktie was das wieder schütter wird. Ja, Punch, was all ihr was gut flecklos schoon und wird. Wirkt Flecke aus, was wird heißen mit Enzymaktie was Punch. That frying pan, I'll never get it clean. Say goodbye to elbow grease. You lemon swift is here, the crime busting scar up. <laughs> Add water to new Lemon Swift and it goes green. Releasing a grime-busting scarring power that cuts right through baked hard stuck down dirt. New Lemon Swift leaves nothing behind but a sparkle and the fresh, fresh smell of new picked lemons. Lemon Swift goes green and grime is gone. Peugeot 4 Automatic relieves traffic headaches. They're real value for money. Incredibly reliable. Have minimum maintenance requirements. Low running costs. Whatever your motoring problem, the 404 can cure it. Peugeot 404. More than a sugar-coated pill. What's the time? Oh, let's see. Uh, it's just... Oh, oh, the phone's ringing. So I noticed. <laughs> but the line was dead when we checked it earlier. The switchboard had disconnected. Somebody must be phoning from the switchboard itself. <gasps> Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. But who is it? It's the night watchman. He saw the lights were still on in here. But tell him to call someone to get us out of here. Hello? Yes, I'm still here. I was talking to Miss Griffith. She's with me. No, no, no. Listen to me carefully. We're trapped by snakes. Yes, I know it seems unbelievable, but snakes. I don't know where they came from, but we think they might have escaped from one of the containers in the warehouse. There was a delivery for Maryland, remember? Well, tell him to call the police. Please, telephone Mr. Dave Watson at his home and then call the police, please. Yes, that's right. And in the meantime, you'd better keep away from this part of the building. It, it, it will probably be dangerous. There are snakes all over the corridor. Yes, and, and connect this phone to an open line, please. Thanks very much. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, Norman, why did you tell him to phone Dave Watson? Well, Dave will get in touch with someone at the Marydale Zoological Gardens. Oh. Do you realize we'll be out of here before much longer? <sighs> oh, snakes alive. <laughs> it's been quite a night, hasn't it, Grace? <laughs> <laughs> High Adventure is produced by Henry Duffenthal.